The Cornishes ate almost twice as much as the Bardrocks did. What's up, modern studders? We told you we were gonna do a comparison between the Heritage Meat Birds and the Cornish Crosses. So today, since Olivia is home and she loves taking notes and she's got really good handwriting, a lot better than mine, you can actually read it, we're gonna weigh the Bard Rocks and write down their weights and then we're gonna go over to the freezer and we're gonna get out the Cornishes and weigh them and then we're gonna cook one up and we're gonna eat it! And we're gonna see how it tastes. What do you think? Yay! That sound like fun? Yes! Alright, we got some work to do, so let's get to it! Nope, I want to put it oh, on, the scale. on the scale. So, so watch it. Wow, Three that's cool. Three pounder. I'm going to say it's about the average size. I'm happy with that. Woohoo! Look at how beautiful that looks with the nice tucked legs. Wow, wow. Nice. Nope. Wow, four pounds. That one was kind of heavy. I wonder how much the cornices weigh then. Three and a half. And it's the third bird. It's the third bird and it weighs three and a half. Three and a quarter. How many birds does that make? Um, six. Six. This is our seventh bird. Three and a half. Three and a half. Nice. If you missed the video of us showing you our butchering setup and explaining why these are in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to go ahead and I'll link that video right here. Yep. Now we're just going to take all the weights, add them up, and we'll find an average. Three pounds. So, get this. so three pounds was the first one, okay? I want you to Four say. pounds. Four pounds, yep. Three and a half. Three point five, yep. Three one four. So three point two five. Yep. Three one four. Yep. Three pounds. Yep. Three and a half. Yep. Three. Yep. Three. Yep. All right, ready? Let's see. Thirty-eight point seven five pounds. Okay, so thirty-eight. Yeah, right. Thirty-eight. Just somewhere. Thirty-eight point seven five pounds. So average is three three and a quarter pounds is the average bird. Awesome. So they, each, so they average it out to weigh 3.25 pounds. Now we're going to do the same thing to the Cornishes and find out what the difference is. Now we're going to be weighing up the Cornishes. We have 16 left. I believe we butchered 22. So we've eaten what? Six of them so far. So we'll weigh up the remaining 16 and figure out an average. Ready for the first one? Nope. Not yet. Oh wow. Wow. Five and a half. Five and a half pounder. Okay, it's the smaller one. Four. Yeah, four. Four pounds. Okay. Five and a half. Right? No, it's not five. Five and, and three quarters. Wow. Small one. Probably gonna be four pounder. Four pounder? Nope. Three and um what's that? The last tick of the three. So say three and three quarters. Okay. Five and a half. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Four and three quarters. Yeah, four and three quarters. Five. Ah, uh, six and a quarter. Knew it was a big one. Figure it all out. Is that four and a half? Um. Just guessing. Not, not four and a half. Not even. Three and three quarters. 
Wow. Under? Four and a half. Four and a half. Wow. These are a lot rounder and plumper. The bod rocks were longer. Four and three fourths. Five and a half pounds. Five and a half. Five and a half. On the first one. The 13, I'm going to say five pounder. Five and. No, I mean three and four. Four, four and three quarters. Five and a half pounder. Five and a half. Five and a half. I'm ready. You ready? Um, yeah. What's it telling us? Four and three fourths. Four and three fourths. Wow. Last one. This is going to be a six pounder. Six and one fourth. Mm -hmm. Six and a quarter pound bird. That's huge. Let's go put these back in the freezer and then we'll tally them up and get an average. All right, let's figure out what our total average was. Wait, total? Oh yeah, total average. We gotta add them all up. So just, be, we don't homeschool. I'd love to someday, but we don't right now. Just because the kids out of school in the summertime don't mean they can't learn, we can't make this fun. We're doing math today and fractions and adding and subtracting and Yay. lots of stuff. She's learning how to journal. What the heck? Okay. So life on the home city is so much you can do. All right, so what was the first one? Five, five and, and a half. half. Okay. Four. Just four. Uh -huh. Okay. Five and three fourths. Right there, we just added up eight Cornishes, and that's we came to thirty-nine point seven five, and twelve of the bod rocks are thirty-eight. Are thirty-eight. So we're already over. The weight right there, but that's not far off. It's only four birds different. Okay, so what was what's next? Um, five. That, that, that we already did. Five. Okay. I'm marking them. Three and three fours. Yep. Yep. Fourteen. Wait, no. It, that that was the number. <laughs> five and a half. And say, fourteen. That's a lot. Um, four and three fours. And last one six and one fourth. So that's seventy nine and a half pounds. And how many birds did we do? Um, sixteen. So, so seventy nine point five divided by sixteen equals gives us an average of four point nine six. So the average weight of the Cornishes is five pounds. So just write five pounds. So they average five pounds. And the Bard Rocks average three or three. Three. Three and a quarter pounds. So the difference is right around two pounds per bird. The Cornishes ate almost twice as much as the Bard Rocks did. So we have less money into the feed of the Bard Rocks. We have less money into the cost because we hatched them out ourselves. If you didn't hatch them out yourself, if you bought them, you're probably going to have less money into the cost of them because they cost less than the Cornishes do. We have a little bit more time invested into the Bard Rocks, but not that much. We've been eating the Cornishes for the last five weeks, and tonight we're going to cook up one of our Bard Rocks. So we're going to be sharing that with you guys in a little bit. It's not even lunchtime yet, but before you know it, just like that, it's going to be dinner time on YouTube for you. We're going to be eating a Bard Rock. We'll be right back. Now it's time to cook up one of our heritage breed chickens in the Instapot. There's the button now I'm looking for. So we're gonna put it on saute. And let it warm up for a minute. We're gonna put our coconut oil in there. We're gonna use a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil. Oh, that's a big one. While that's warming up, let's go get our chicken. Chicken out of the bag. Now that our Instant Pot is up to temperature, we're going to put the chicken in the Instant Pot upside down on the breast for six to seven minutes. While that chicken is sizzling and getting good for us, 
Let's go back down and get some more ingredients we're gonna need. You're gonna need a cup and a half of pasture-raised chicken broth. Now that, it's, now that it's been cooking for six minutes, we're gonna flip it over. Add in a cup and a half of our pasture-raised chicken broth. We're gonna put our seasoning on it. And I'll put a little bit of garlic. You can use garlic cloves, minced garlic, whatever you have. Put the lid on, make sure it's sealed. Put it on manual for 20 minutes. The cheese smells really good, I can smell it from here. Sure does, doesn't it? Let's mm -hmm. open it up and see what it looks like. That's just crazy. This thing didn't need to cook for as long as it did. It is done. This thing was cooked for 20 minutes. And look at that. That's well done. Talk about a tender bird. Olivia can't wait. She wants to taste the chicken. Want a piece? Yummy. How is it? I'll wait for dinner. I'm gonna have a bun. What's that? I'm gonna have a chicken leg. The Brussels sprouts are good. You like them? They're mm -hmm. perfect. The potatoes good. You did a good job mashing those potatoes. They're good. Thank you. How's the chicken? Good. How's your chicken in the bone? Good. Chicken bone. Chicken bone. It's got a different flavor to it. Is it bad? No, good. The texture of it's good. Yeah, and the first and the first bite I had because I had to test it. It tasted a lot like lemon juice, and Daddy didn't even cook. See, I like I'm, I'm a dipper, so I don't yeah. really. No, but like the texture is good. Good. It's very good. Hmm. I like it better than the Cornish. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to describe it. I don't know, it's good. Yeah. There's definitely not as much meat on it. Mm -hmm. But, but the it meat's good. Nice. No. But the it's meat's good. Apart. The meat's very good. How do you like the chicken and the bone? It's good. But, like you said, there's not a lot of meat, but I mean, like, it's meat. it looks. It's enough meat for us. Well, yeah. Get bigger, get bigger, get we'll get two meals out of it. Like a meal in a soup or a meal in a stew. Look that, If it was a Cornish, we would get three meals out of it. Mm -hmm. We'd get two meals and then a soup or a stew. But we also have a lot less time, I mean a lot less money invested. Right. Next, it'll be interesting to see if the bone broth is different. I just like their quality of life better. Yeah, they're a much happier bird. Now they can have all their feathers. And right there. They just look human. They look like a chicken. Mm -hmm. They taste good. They taste good. But it's not, like a lot of people say like the heritage birds are tougher and this and that. At least cooking it in the Instant Pot is not that way. Yeah. And we only cook for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. No, 20 time. minutes. The whole time our heat up. Heat up was, I don't know. I'd say it was under an hour. With heat up, cool down, and cooking. Mm -hmm. And it, I would say we could probably put it in there for 15 minutes. We did it for 10. I did it for 20. And this is our blueberry flavored kombucha. It's pretty, isn't it? So all in all, definitely happy with the way the Bond Rocks turned out. So I'm glad we ordered 50 more heritage breed birds to raise for meat birds. 
it's kind of a little scary that thing. Like, if this chicken doesn't taste good, yeah, we got 11 more Too in bad. the freezer. Too bad. And we got 50 more in the basement. Suck it up. So I feel better that this bird tastes good. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps. I know I had fun today working with Olivia. I don't know if she had fun. Did you have fun doing the journal and writing all the notes? Yes. Yeah. You love I'm that stuff. jealous. You're jealous? A little bit. Yeah. It was a good rainy day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just had to sit at work. Yep. I hope you guys missed me. We did. We did. <laughs> and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Aikens, A God, to modern home settings, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.